here we are at the woodshed right so we have bow saw panel saw right at the back there we go bow saw panel saw single-handed axe kindling nicely separated <coughs> then we've got some big fat chunks of wood right they are no good for my log burner so all right if you're on a campfire but these bits <coughs> much better like that started off like that so to get it like that I have got great big axe but big difference being get there normal single-handed axe like that I was just talking the other week at Scouts <coughs> I lay that one down look at how thick that head is great big wedge shape that is the splitting axe I was talking about so if we take this nice big fat piece of wood and we put it on the chopping block now I get the normal hand axe let's have a go Right there. Oh, it worked. That doesn't normally work. Might be just because it's softwood. There we go. See, it's got all these knots in there. It focuses on it. There we go. You can see the knot from the side. That is going to stop the little two handed axe, the one handed axe, sorry. So, there we go. It's so heavy, you lift it up, I just let the weight of the axe drop. So, whether it's split it or not with the uh, single axe, the single handed axe. See, I can, wrongly, hold it that close and let it drop down. And that is the difference between the single handed axe and the great big splitting axe. Okay, obviously if you've got a great big log like that, there's no way that single handed axe will do it. I've split, I've done the woodshed at the minute, split loads of logs um, with that. We're all ready for my log burner, but there we go. A little quick one, the differences between your axes. Bye!